Hello friends, it's great to see you this week. I'm going to try to read you a story every week. So this week I have another story about Lent and Jesus. It's called Making Space. After Jesus came back from the desert, he left everything behind. Trusting God to give him what he needed, he began to travel from place to place. He was telling everyone who would listen about God and the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is the world the way God imagined it in the very beginning, the way God wants it to be. Many people came to hear Jesus. They were full of questions. What is the kingdom of God? Where is it? How do we get there? Jesus told them, the kingdom of God is like a tiny mustard seed that grows into a huge plant. It's so big and strong that birds can build nests in it. The kingdom of God is like a pinch of yeast stirred into a big mixing bowl of flour. It is only a speck, but it makes a big batch of dough rise. The kingdom of God is inside you, but it needs time and space to grow. This is how you make space. If you have done wrong, tell God you are, you are sorry. Sweep your heart clean and start fresh. Be kind to all people, not just the ones who like you. Open your heart wide. If someone hurts you, ask God to help you forgive. Do not store up angry thoughts. Let them go. You know, those thoughts in you, those angry thoughts, if you let them go, then you're making space for better things to happen and come into your life. So share that and also share so that everyone has enough. If you have more than you need, why don't you give someone who need give it to someone who needs it? Why clutter up your life with more than you can use? Make space for what really matters. And here's some kids donating their clothes that they don't need anymore, or maybe ones they've outgrown and don't fit anymore. They're giving them to someone who needs them. One day, when his friends wanted to learn to talk with God, Jesus taught them a way to pray. He says, and some of you might know this one, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. When we pray for the kingdom of God to come, we are telling God what we hope for. We hope that people everywhere will listen to God, live the way He wants, and make space for what really matters. Imagine, during Lent, we can make space. We can clean our house. We can sort our clothes and toys and books and maybe get rid of what we don't use. Maybe give them to someone who needs them. And it can be hard at first because, you know, you like your things and you want to keep all of them, right? But maybe there's some you won't miss if you don't have anymore. So think about that. Because someone else might need them more than you do. And then you might have more space in your room. So how about you? Do you think you can do that? You know, make things more simple, help others. I know you guys do in so many ways because you are wonderful. I am just impressed every day when, when I hear stories about all the great things you're doing and the love you're giving and how you're sharing and helping people. So I just want you to know that, you know, your, your good works and your kindness and your sharing and your making space and helping others, it's appreciated. It makes God happy. Thank you, and I'll see you next week. God bless you all.